I am Zef from T2Y and welcome to Adventure Ride Chat, the place where all bikes are adventure and where the chat starts here with me and continues with all of us down in that comment area. And if you are new to this segment of T2Y, please do consider subscribing. Today I want to talk to you about checklists, maintenance checklists. As some of you know, I come from the maintenance aeronautical world, so both checklists as preventive maintenance are very within my DNA at this point. So how did I transport that from the airplanes onto the bikes? with checklists. Make a little checklist of everything you want to see on the bike and at what times you want to do it. And then I strongly advise you to create little routines to introduce that on your day to day. From time to time, if you don't want to follow the checklist daily or weekly or in whatever time you decide to do so, from time to time just take it out and make sure that you check all of those points on a long run, on a marathon, as a long-term adventure riding tour is, it's gonna save you a lot of problems, it's gonna save you a lot of money, and it's gonna give you a peace of mind that's gonna work out perfectly. So what do I do? Daily, we all need to check for fuel, right? So I introduced something else. I check for fuel, I lube my chain. That's gonna make sure that the chain is gonna last longer than a chain that is dry. Also, every couple of days, for me, that's good enough, but for you might be different. Every couple of days, I check my tire pressure. If on a long-term adventure riding tour, a tire is more or less consistent all throughout time in terms of pressure, the wear and tear of the tire is gonna be completely different than the tire that's always gonna go up and down in pressure. So that's gonna save you money and it's gonna be easier for you to ride because you're always gonna have the same feedback from the road. Something that I also do on a weekly day basis is check my chain tension. So check that, so chain sprockets, that's gonna last you a long time. And in case you are running a bike that you know tends to have a little bit over consumption of oil, it's also a good time for you to check the oil levels on your bike and add a little bit in case you need to. Once a week, I think that should be more than good. But again, that just depends a little bit on the bike. Some bikes do tend to consume a lot of oil and you should adjust accordingly. Something I also extremely advise you to do is take a little flashlight. Once a week, just grab the flashlight without cleaning the bike. This is a very important point that a lot of people forget. Without cleaning the bike, grab the flashlight and go around the bike, not just looking, but also touching. So what do I mean? When you have a flashlight, it's gonna see if there's leaks, it's gonna see if there's something broken because it will flash, it will glow in a different way than just normal ambient light. And when I say touch, well, it's easy to find, for instance, a broken bracket, to find something that's loose. And if you just look, because the bike is stable and it's not running, it works perfectly and when you touch, ooh, this is loose, this is broken, I can fix it. When I say don't clean the bike, imagine your bike is dusty. If there's a leak of any kind, there's going to be a little bit of the dust that's going to be damp. So that's going to make sure to tell you there's a leak somewhere. If you clean the bike, you might not be able to spot that. Also, when I do that weekly run around of the bike, I also check the spokes, just to make sure if there's any loose or not. Another thing I do, and I advise you to do, I know this is a little bit more expensive, but I advise you to reduce some kilometers from the total that the manufacturer advises you to do. So let's say the manufacturer on your specific bike tells you to do maintenance every 10,000 kilometers. I would do it maybe eight, nine, depending on the kind of roads you're riding. If you're riding just road, do whatever the manufacturer says, you're gonna be okay, and especially if you're doing some preemptive maintenance. But if you're doing the auto off-road, well, do it a little bit before. When they say 10,000, they say 10,000 in average, and when you have a fully packed heavy bike doing a lot of off-road every single day, well, you're not doing anything average. So you should not do your maintenance averagely, you should adjust accordingly. When you do your maintenance, that usually is check your brakes, check your oil levels, check your water levels. I would also advise you to check your bearings on your wheels and on your steering. 
If you have a little bit of a close eye on that, you will be able to see if there's any that's getting a little more wear and tear than it should. Although with bearings, it's kind of like either it's good or it's not good. But if you can catch it at an early stage, you can replace it and it may save you from a crash. This is at least what I do on my bike, the kind of care and tear I have on the bike while on the road. I would love to know what you do. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to our little channel, please do consider subscribing, hitting that big thumbs up and that subscription bell so you can get all the notifications as soon as a new video is out. And next Saturday, I'm gonna be here with something completely different. Till then, 